Next up in our farm course in our G and PG rated stuff is med packaging. Very short, very quick little lesson here. Um, and we'll do a lot of handling and playing with uh, expired medications in our lab, in our pharmacology lab, in the regular class, so you'll get a good feel for this. We want to talk about these four things, preloads, multi-dose vials, ampules, and how to reconstitute stuff. A lot of our emergency meds come in preloads, and so the syringe um, is already um, pretty much loaded. At most, you have to pop a couple caps and screw something into something else, but they can be given rapidly. Uh, as soon as you can get the package open, uh, you can get the medicine out, and it fits into the IV injection port, and you can give it quickly. It either fits into the needleless system, or if you have a needled system, you put a needle on the end of these. Some of these come with needles on them, and so we'll play with all this paramedic plumbing in, in the farm lab, and you'll deal with needled systems, needleless systems, yada, yada, back and forth. But preloads are easy, and most of the time, if you have a preloaded syringe, it's because you're going to give the medicine rapidly into the IV, and this is the idea to speed things up. A lot of stuff comes in a multi-dose vial, and so these have a cap on them, and the colors may change, but in this case, we have a little Toradol in, um, in a nice little multi-dose vial with a purple cap, and you pop that little purple cap off, pop that seal off, alcohol wipe that top just to add a little bit more of, of asepsis to the, to the whole process. And then you decide how much you're going to get out of there, how much you need to get out of there. And if it's one cc you need to withdraw, then you're going to add one cc of air. So you um, will pull up one cc of air in your syringe, uh, flip the vial upside down, inject the air into it, and then withdraw uh, the medication out of there. And so uh, we'll play with that a lot. It's a, almost a, a motor skill completely. You just kind of get used to dealing with drawing things out of multi-dose vials. Ampules, not used very often. Very few things that we carry um, come in ampules. Um, Epi, 1 to 1,000 for anaphylaxis, has been in, in ampules for years and years. Uh, Narcan was for a while. It's usually preloaded now. Sometimes the lidocaine that we put into an IO to keep the infusion from hurting so bad uh, comes in these ampules. But as you can see, with each of them, there is a colored line near the neck on that ampule, and that colored line is where you're supposed to break it. And um, some folks teach you to, to do something to, uh, to saw on that or, or score that before you pop it. Um, a lot of people just go ahead and pop it. We did have, in class, we had one shatter. Um, and so uh, it's a good safety practice to use a 4x4 four four to uh, protect yourself while you pop those ampules. And there's a couple of things that have to be reconstituted. Um, glucagon tends to be one of those, and solumedrol. And it's pretty common to see solumedrol in, in the bottom picture there on the right in this uh, fairly cool little vial that has uh, water in the top and powder in the bottom. And if you'll pop that top orange cap off, you can then push the water um, into the bottom and, and uh, reconstitute it. But reconstituting is when you must um, mix a liquid um, with the powder to dilute it down. And for whatever reason, uh, the medication's not stable. It will not stay potent and will, um, will not stay mixed like it should, not stay diluted like it should um, for very long. And so you have to reconstitute these or mix them right before you give them. And we'll play with this in class a little bit. We want to just kind of include it in this whole packaging discussion, reconstituting meds. Do you need a filter needle? Well, you know it's probably better to use one um, and not need it than, than the opposite. If you're using a glass ampule, everybody agrees that you need filter needles for these because small flakes of glass can end up in the medication when you break the ampule. So filter needles are definitely needed for ampules. Are they needed for these? Well, you can find as many sources that say yes as that say no. There's no clear evidence that you need a filter needle when you reconstitute, but it certainly kind of makes a good common sense argument. So, you know, you might as well would be the answer, but do you absolutely, absolutely have to? We're gonna say no, not yet, not for sure. 
that wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, medication packaging.